everybody and welcome back to Listen I Have an Idea. Today is the 23rd day of April, meaning it's day 23 of Camp NaNoWriMo. I'm a little bit behind. I'm going to admit it. I think every single NaNoWriMo I am behind at some point. Well, today is the point where I am officially quite far behind. But before we get into numbers, let's talk about the last couple of days. If you watched my last video, you will have known that I partook in the Reading Rush's uh, Stay Home Reading Rush, where I attempted to read four books in four days. I only ended up finishing the first book that I started, which was Reunion by Meg Cabot. I love the book, but it took me longer than I expected to read. And by the time my days off were done, I had only read the one. I didn't have time to read the other three. So that's okay. They're still on my shelves. I still am ready to read them. Emily, your book is next. Then I had a crazy six days in a row at work where I was so exhausted by the end of the day that I didn't really want to write. A couple of the days I did end up getting a couple of words down. So if you're following along on my stats on the NaNoWriMo website, you will have seen that I wrote a couple of words for some of the days, but not all of them. So my daily writing streak is broken. That's okay. I'm okay with that. The other thing that really set me back is that I threw my back out at work the other day. So I'm on day two of recovery, but oh man, did my back hurt so much. I could not sit straight for an entire day and a half. I really did not want to sit at my computer and type or sit in my bed and type because any kind of weird angles would just hurt my back even more and I needed to recover from that. So because of all of that, I am quite far behind in my writing, but not necessarily that far. Before we get into the numbers, I wanted to share with you a couple of the clips that I've taken over the past couple of days. I didn't end up vlogging as much the past couple of days as I have been throughout the rest of the month, but I still have quite a few clips that I do want to share with you. So without further ado, let's get into my vlog clips from the week. You always film me with my glasses off. My eyes always look so small. Today is April the 16th. Today's also the first day I'm gonna be participating in the Stay Home Reading Rush, which if you don't know what that is, back a number of years ago, it used to be called the Booktubeathon, where it was a YouTube event, a reading event that would take place in July at some point, where you would read seven books in seven days. Well, since everybody is staying home right now, they're hosting another one since they rebranded to the Reading Rush, and it's gonna be over the course of the next four days. Now, this year, I'm not following the challenges, nor Normally they issue challenges of the books that you're supposed to pick. I just picked four books that I've been wanting to read. They've been on my TBR for a little while. And that is what I started with. So it is about 3.41 right now. I ended up reading my first book this morning and that was Meg Cabot's Reunion. This is the third book in the Mediator series. It was wonderful. I finished it right before one o'clock. Took me a little under three hours to read it. It's been fantastic. The rest of the afternoon, I've just been relaxing a little bit, done a little bit of cleaning. I have a little bit more to go. And then I'm on to my second book. It's snowing. No. Oh, look, Heidi, you got a Canadian tuxedo. Mm -hmm. got some shirts and then this. Ah! <laughs> you tickle! Stop. <laughs> no. <laughs> look at her, she's like, I'm not doing anything. Stop it! Don't. <laughs> that's where I bite her instead. Oh, well, that's snow. Daffodils. Oh. So Emily and I are having a bath bomb night. We're doing foot baths. There she is. We have the bowl of bath bombs and the multiple different ones. And yeah, we'll show you the ones we chose. I don't know what it's called. I have no idea what that one is either. That's a little hexagon. I chose this one. I can't remember what it's called, but it's purple and has a little bit of glitters. That's great. Okay, go Emily. Oh, look at how bright mine is. Oh man, my feet are gonna be pink after this. Oh, ho, ho, I beg to differ. I once did a yellow one. My feet were yellow for a week. The weather the past couple of days has been crazy. It was snowing the other day and now it's hailing out. And it's also been sunny. Yesterday we literally had all four seasons in one day. Now 
let's talk some numbers. I'm currently at 12,152 words right now. I have not written yet today. I do intend to write quite a bit as well as edit together this video where I'm supposed to be at on the NaNoWriMo website if I want to hit my 20,000 word goal by the end of the month. So for day 23, I'm supposed to be at 15,341 words. So that means I have to write 3,189 words today if I want to hit that goal. If I do hit that 3,189 words, that means that it would be the second biggest word day of the month for me. The biggest word day being 3,685 words, which I hit on the 10th of April. Over the last several days since I stopped writing, I guess, like I said, I wrote a couple words here and there every other day, just random thoughts that I had, questions that I was leaving for myself. So when I did come back to the project, I would be able to know exactly where I'm picking up from and create bounce off points that I can start writing from. Well, since I stopped the main narrative writing, I have encountered a couple of issues with my story, just, have, just as I've been thinking about it and pondering it and trying to figure out where everything is going to lead next, I discovered a little bit of a plot hole. Not necessarily a plot hole, but as I was developing each of my main characters, I have the main female character and the prince. The Prince of Glue. I spent a majority of the past week trying to develop the Prince a lot more. I really nailed down, I think, his backstory. I understand his motivations. I know a lot more about him, even though he's not my main character and I don't read through his perspective. I know a lot about him. There's still some things that are a little bit gray, a little bit fuzzy, I still have to develop a little bit more, but he is nailed down. The main character, the girl on the other hand, I thought I knew enough about her to really go with her story. The first six and a half chapters, which is I'm on chapter seven right now, working my way halfway through it. I thought I knew her character. She was really developed. I understood her personality, but I had one festering thought the other day, and that was, what is her main drive? I get it. I know what her drive is, but like really, what is it? It's one of those intrusive thoughts that I just couldn't shake out of my head. I had no idea why it came. I thought I had an answer, but in my brain, my answer that I had was not satisfactory. I didn't know exactly what her main drive was. And I'm so glad I had that thought because it pushed me to think and think outside of the box of what her actual main drive is. What is something early on in the story that the readers can sink their teeth into and understand that this character that is what she is working towards. And that just wasn't there. Her story was kind of up and down. Her father's storyline actually was more developed than hers. And that is saying something. The way I discovered that plot hole was actually while I was doing research for the father's character. When you're writing and you don't know a whole lot about a certain profession or a certain activity or something, you do have to do a lot of research in it in order to be able to come across to the reader as if you know what you're talking about. The father is a painter and I am not. So I had to do some research into the kind of tools, techniques that he would use. I wanted to make sure that I was getting the language right. And I actually came across not only a documentary, but a really interesting TV show. I ended up watching this show called Portrait Artist of the Year 2020. It's a British reality show where they have nine contestants come on and paint a celebrity in their own style styles and I thought it was so interesting and I've learned so much about it that I will be able to parlay into my story. There is a point though where research is just research. It's not writing and I think at this point being day 23 being that I need to continue writing and what I'm writing at the moment in terms of chapter 7 is not about painting. I need to move on from that put the show on hold for a moment and then just continue writing. Right now my intentions are to finish up chapter seven and then before I move ahead to chapter eight, go back and try to incorporate that plot line back into the story. I have no idea exactly how I'm gonna fit it in just yet. I will take a little bit of editing and a lot of time in order to be able to rewrite this plot line in, but I know that if I take the time and do the work, the story will be so much better because of it. So this is where we're starting off for the day. Okay, I am back. It has been quite a long day. We are looking at about 11.30 at night. I know, I procrastinated, I played video games all day, I did this to myself, but I got my first 582 words for the day. I decided that in writing, I just needed to go back and write what felt natural. So I listened to my Prince of Gloom playlist and I had an idea for a couple of lines, so I just went with it. I rolled with the punches. 
I got the first 582 words of a different chapter, not chapter seven, but you know what? It's working and I really like the flow of it so far. So I'm just going to keep cranking that out until I no longer can write. So maybe about a thousand words. We'll see. So it's been a little bit. I am at 910 words, but it is currently 11 59 p.m. and I had to stop because I wanted to update my word count on the NaNoWriMo website before midnight hit but I think I just wrote my favorite sentence so far well it's a couple sentences I figured I would read it to you because I just loved it okay so it goes creature less than human those words stung more than the antiseptic the nurses used to clean the cut I love that. I thought that was so great as I wrote it. I was like, yes, 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 yes. I could feel the stinging as I was writing it. It was wonderful. Okay. So anyways, I've written 910 words today. Really happy about that. I do kind of want to continue on because I have more thoughts and words I need to get out for what I'm currently writing, which is always a great feeling. That's what I've been waiting for the past couple of days for this inspiration to hit. But I think for now, I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm going to continue writing tonight and all of the updates will be under day 24 on the NaNoWriMo website. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next vlog. Okay, happy writing. Bye.